the lord i feel like spoke to me and said no days off with your faith don't get stuck in this one victory y'all know a lot of times we want to pray 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 but we don't want to work 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 so thank you what's up faith family it is your faith friend marquita man i have not i've missed a couple of weeks in this video uh uploading because i've just been training i got a new job um, at the end of october and i've been in training but this morning i stopped by duncan to try this um new uh cookie butter cold brew thing and so i was like you know what let me pull over and talk to my friends because i miss them and i miss um uploading and so this is the intro to part six of our faith journey um not bad if you have been following me at any time this last couple of months you see that my family and i have re we relocated we left la we felt the lord call us to leave la and we relocated well the reason i started recording the journey is because when we first got the word from the lord to relocate he did not tell us where to go and so i knew this move was going to be different and i started recording the process and um this is part six of that process so if you are new here and you have not watched part one through five i recommend you go back do a little binge watching and then come back to part six just so you you will know where we are but if you have been here and you've like girl i've been waiting for part six uh no longer do you have to wait <laughs> this is part six of the faith journey today is friday june 16th update on the move so um we still don't have a place to live and we're leaving july 1st um my husband does not have a job um he's had some conversations but nothing set in stone yet and i'm still waiting on my equipment for the remote position that i was offered blessing last what was the last week no it was this week we were talking with some friends well my husband was talking with some friends and he was telling them like you know about we were driving and he's like oh no like why don't you guys get the pack rat where because you know we could not find a u-haul there was no u-haul i was praying for a u-haul um but we are doing the u-box which is even better. So God did provide an answer through a friend that didn't even know he was giving us an answer. Um, so we're getting the U-boxes delivered Monday and getting our stuff shipped and we'll drive our own car, which is even better than being in a U-Haul truck, all three of us. So God did open a door in that area. So we are just continuing to pray for somewhere to live, um, for a door to open, for a job, for my husband, and for me to get my equipment for this for this, for this remote job. So man, we're still moving in faith, and we literally got like two weeks left. Two weeks. Today is Sunday, June eighteenth so many emotions right um today was actually so this is an update on the move um today was our last day at church my husband's last day at work um at the church that we were going to but I was just sitting here going through old videos of when I was in the process in the waiting of coming here and I in the video it said like this really tested my faith. Like I almost gave up on my faith. And I just think at where I was in 2020 to where I am now. And how even though we're packing by faith, we don't know where we're going to live. And so many things that we don't know. I haven't wanted to give up on my faith. I haven't wanted to give up on God. I've wanted to fight 
the enemy and fight my way through this. And that makes me happy because that shows how I've grown in God. And just watching old videos of me sharing the middle of the process in 2020. And it's how I didn't know anything, but I knew, I just knew God was going to do something. And I'm just sitting here thinking and looking back over the last few years from that video, God did exactly what I said he'd do in that video. He crushed every doubt, every fear of coming to California because it was so expensive he crushed it I said in the video I said he's gonna crush that and he did and not only did he bring us here and provide but we were in the nice area we were in one of the best areas here in Southern California my daughter was in one of the top schools here right our jobs were here we were literally minutes from everything like God did exactly what he said he'd do and I'm just in just tears because I'm like, man, you are so faithful. And so it just remembering, remembering what he did and knowing that he's the same God that he was in 2020, that he is today. Something's going to open up for us. I don't know what. And I'm believing that it's going to be within the next two weeks before we leave. Something's going to open up for us. The same God that crushed every doubt that I had before is going to crush it again. This time I feel stronger. As I was watching that old video, I feel stronger. I feel like God has put us in a place where we won't be moved. All this stuff is trying to come against us and, and, and we're waiting for doors to open. But we will believe. We'll trust in the Lord. And I'll be able to post this. And I'll be able to show you the fruits of the obedience and the fruits of the belief because God will not put us to shame. Today is June 22nd and update on the move. Y'all, we are still moving. We are getting our stuff packed, getting it put in the U box and we will be heading out next week. Still not all the updates, not all the answers, but listen, we are taking steps forward and moving like we know God is going to open the door for us. So that is the update for today. We still moving. Today is Friday, January the 23rd, and today's my last day of work. And I'm just sitting out here. I got like five minutes left on my break and I'm like, I need to do this video. Um... I just want people, to, what I've learned this last few weeks, I've been saying, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. That's Psalms 23, one. And if you don't stop and slow down and really be present, you will think that God is not providing everything you need. There's a story in the Bible where God was providing for this particular group of people every day. He provided food every day, right? And they couldn't carry anything over to the next day. He would provide fresh food every day. And it didn't look, um, it, it wasn't exactly what they wanted, but he provided. It wasn't how they wanted, but he provided. And so if you don't take a step back in our if we don't take a step back in our lives we will overlook how God is providing for us I just think about when we didn't have when when they told us there was no trucks in California to transport our stuff and I began to freak out and I'm like what are we gonna do we're stuck right and I begin to say God you said that you, that that you knew what we needed and that you would provide everything we needed according to your riches and glory and God provided he provided the you boxes right and so now our stuff will be shipped we don't even have to it's even a better situation it was even a little bit cheaper than what we expected right but it didn't happen how I wanted it to happen but it happened it's even better than what I wanted 
And then I think about, you know, we needed some people to help us move. And, you know, my husband was like, you know, it's fine. Me, me and Paris will do some stuff and then we can do some stuff when I get home. But God provided, God provided somebody to help us move. And while I had to work, God sent help for my husband. And it was less of a burden for him. And so even that, it's like, man, God, you are providing. But I just have to be intentional about paying attention and being in the moment and not focusing on what's going to happen two months from now, a month from now. But no, focus on where I am today, what God is doing today. The, I love the scripture that says tomorrow has enough troubles of its own. Stay focused on today. Don't bring tomorrow next week into your today. And so last night I was just asking the Lord as I lay down to sleep, like, Lord, help me to find joy in the journey. And I woke up feeling so good. And God is doing exactly that, helping me find joy in the journey. And so not just trying to hurry up and get to where I need to be, but actually enjoy where I am right now. Actually enjoy my 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 time on the way to where he's calling us to go and, and, and paying attention to what he's doing even today. Um, and so he will provide everything you need. It is up to us to take a step back and to just pay attention to what he's doing. So that's what I got from today. Um, so whatever we need tomorrow, it'll be there. Whatever we need as we go, he's going to provide it. And I'm asking for stuff that I want to see happen now. And God's like, well, not yet. I want you to close out this place and then I'm going to provide for you in the next place. And so that is what I believe he's, he's doing and he's going to do. I just got to stay focused on where I am today. Wherever my feet are planted today is where I need to be focused. So that is part six of the journey. Y'all know I always try to leave these videos with something encouraging, but I just want to share with you, like last week at church, our pastor talked about stretching your faith. And um, I have a newsletter that I send out every week. If you are not a part of that, I am going to put that in the description, but I send out an encouraging free just sign up for it encouraging email every week and this up and coming week i'm going to be talking about um and if you sign up now you've missed it i can resend it to you <clears throat> our pastor talked about stretching your faith and in my mind i'm like you know what i can rest for the rest of the year because i've stretched my faith god i've done that i just moved across the country without knowing where to go if anybody has stretched their faith it has been me and my family so i can rest right for the rest of the year and the lord i feel like spoke to me and said mm -mm, no days off with your faith there's no days off. Yes, you can kind of, you can re you can rest, but don't get stuck in this one victory because there is so much more I want to do in you, with you, through you. So don't get stuck and say, oh, I've stretched my faith for the year. No, there's still more that God wants to do. Now that he's brought me to the city, now he wants to do even more in my life. I want to encourage you, man, don't wait till 2024 uh, you still got time as long as the Lord wakes you up and the Bible says that it's fresh grace and fresh mercy every day So there's new it's a new day. You know, I am not an advocate of telling people wait till the beginning of the year wait to a New month. No, it's a new day What is that thing that God has placed on your heart? It is time for you to stretch your faith in that thing when was the last time that you dreamed? When was the last time that you went to God with your dreams and said, Lord, I want to do this. Help me if it's in your will. Help me do this. And one thing I love about the Lord, you don't have to try to figure out, is this dream of God? No, just take it to him. All the dreams, all the desires that are in your heart, write them down. Take them to the Lord and God will begin to shift through and say, okay, we, we could do this. This one is a little fleshy. This one is not about me, but I, you know, I understand you like God will shift through those things and whatever is in his will will come to pass, but it is going to require you and me to continue to dream, to continue to stretch our faith, to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and taking risks um, for the Lord and, and doing those things that God's called us to do and doing the work. And we'll talk about doing the work later because 
y'all know a lot of times we want to pray 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 but we don't want to work 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 so that's a different that's a different story but i just i'm excited to continue to roll these out i have maybe about four or five more i really don't know i'm hoping it'll get us to the end of the year and then 2024 we can just start coming on here with our daily doses of encouragement but um and maybe some vlogs family vlogs just of where we are i haven't quite figure out what i want to do yet after dropping these videos but man this is the time not not 2024 y'all we need to get in position now to stretch your faith whatever it is it doesn't matter how small is it losing weight stretch your faith you can do it with the lord on your side you can do it is it starting something? Is it leaving something? Do you need to leave a relationship, a friendship, a job, or something that you're afraid to leave? Is it, if God is telling you to do it, it's time to stretch your faith even in that area? Is it time to forgive somebody? Is it time, what is it time? It don't necessarily have to be something big or something like, no, maybe it's time to forgive. Maybe it's time to have a conversation. All of that stuff stretches your faith and, and, and you have to depend on the Lord to help you. So, Let's do that. Let's not wait to 2024. Let's not wait to next month. No, let's start today. So yeah, that is the end of part six. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Any prayer requests, you can leave it in the comments. I'll be praying for you guys. I love you guys. I will see you guys back next week with part seven of our faith journey.